Hi, it's Dawn here at Sickle Town and I'm back doing some more canning. And today I'm going to be canning something I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is spam. Love it or hate it, but I'm making spam and I'm making it from our own home produced meat. So I've got my pork which has been minced up and oh, get that off the food processor there we go and i have um chopped up some chopped up finely some cooked ham so the recipe calls for five pound of pork shoulder minced one pound of cooked ham ground fine two tablespoons of uh tender quick now we can't get tender quick here in the uk i thought well i can if i wanted to pay 40 50 pound for it um which i don't so um i have found uh, a recipe online which i will if i remember link to down below on how to make your own and then it is um half a teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder five three tablespoons of sugar granulated sugar and five tablespoons of clear gel which is a modified starch that's suitable for canning with and that i get on amazon and one cup of water so we start with dissolving let's move that over all the dry ingredients into the water and so we'll add all of those I've uh, washed all my jars so they're ready to go and my lids are in um, hot water so they're ready to go um, it does help if you have everything ready so this is two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of the tender quick tablespoons and one teaspoon now this is a hands in job like I said, my hands have been washed. So, the ham is going to go in with pork. Just pop that out of the way. So I am, as you know, very short of space in my kitchen. And um, in fact, let me just tilt the camera down a bit so you can see what is going on. I could have done with a, a bigger bowl really for this, but um, I wonder if that over there is any bigger. Hang on a second. but it's a better shape so right. and we need to mix in the water with our dried ingredients as well and that's all got to be mixed together Yeah, that's definitely better. 
a better shaped container to mix it in. Uh, and it's going to be canned in wide mouth jars, uh, which have got the straight sides, so which will make it easier for getting it out. And um, the recipe I found, I found this recipe on uh, Rebel Canners, uh, their Facebook group. Um, I've looked at various different recipes and I saw this one and quite a lot of people have tried it and said it came out great. So I thought I'd go with this recipe. And um, yeah, so it was just a case of getting the ingredients together and then of course the uh, tender quick, which, you know, is, is it's, it's not a thing, it's not a British thing. Um, and it's basically a mixture of Instacure One, which is a uh, pink salt and salt and sugar but it's a very accurate by weight mixture. So, and I found it, is it One Acre Homestead? I'm not sure if that's what the, her channel is called. I might have the name wrong, um, but she did um, some research in it and did an alternative, making up your own recipe because she couldn't get it either. So I will uh, link to her video down below so you can have a go at um, making your own if you wanted to do it. So and everything else of course is easy to come by. Clear gel, yeah I can get that on Amazon that's not a problem. You cannot use corn flour, corn flour isn't recommended um, in canning um, but the clear gel is all right, so that is that. I'm happy with that now. That is that all mixed up. So let me just dip my hands into the hot water in the sink and then we'll uh, get it into some jars. <coughs> jars ready. I've got the canner all ready here to go. So and it's wide mouth straight sided jars. Um, now the lady on the recipe said she doubled it up uh, and she made 11 pints. Now I'm not sure if that was 11 pints that the recipe makes or whether it was 11 pints after she had doubled it up. So um, I've prepared eight jars, so we shall see. If I have if I have put any left over, um, I'll just have to bake it in the oven. So now you need to pack the jars firmly. We don't want them. I'm sure there must be a, a, um, an implement for doing this, packing jars, because we don't want any, any pockets. It's a big, something like a big wooden rolling pin or something leaving a one inch head space, which is, on the other jars it's the shoulder on the regular mouth, but on this it is, I would say, that bottom line, that is going to give you an inch head space. I can 
saying to my husband for a while, I was going to make this, and he keeps saying, have you done it yet? Have you done it yet? And I haven't. Um, we've had, had builders in, so um, doing any videos in the house has been would be very, very difficult while builders are here with the noise and the mess. But today's a rainy day, so the builders are called off. So I thought I'd take the opportunity and get a load of my indoor videos that were on my list to get done. So, a bit too much in that one. And it's going to be so nice when I have my new kitchen all done. And that's, uh, just all the inconvenience at the moment. Um, and I'm doing my in pint jars. You can do it in the quart jars. Quart jars would take 90 minutes. Um, here I'm at £10 pressure. Um, pint jars, it will be 75 minutes. Really, I could do with um, half pint jars, but I don't know if you can get half pint wide mouth jars, especially here in the UK. Um, even getting wide mouth jars can sometimes be a, a bit of a challenge, but I buy mine off um, online of Charlie's. Uh, I think it's Charlie's, is it charlies.co.uk? I think that's their address. Um, but if you were to search Charlie's, if you're in the UK, search Charlie's, you'll find it. I have actually got a Charlie's shop in town, but they don't do, they don't stock the white on jar, so. And Charlie's, I found, is the cheapest getting my uh, canning jars, even my regular mouth jars. They do the branded as well as the um, unbranded ones, or the lesser known branded ones, as well as all the other jars suitable for jams, honeys, chutneys, and all the bits of equipment. The only thing they don't do is the um, the cameras themselves. Um, a bit of air space. I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch me fill all my jars, so I'm going to carry on with them and I'll come back to you when I'm done. Right, that's my uh, jars filled. I've got two, four, six, seven, seven pints there. So I'm now going to wipe around the rims with some vinegar because we want to make sure we get that good seal. We don't want any failures. We want to get all that grease off. And it's just a bit of um, white vinegar. Song.
there we go. And on with the rings. There we go. So now it's um, into the canner. Let me bring you all of that. Out the way, Paige. I've got a dog lying here at my feet. She's hoping to catch crumbs. Um, I'm going to turn the canner, the gas on. Um, my water in and the white vinegar that's left is going to go into the water as well that stops the jars going cloudy I should be able to get them all in in one layer All in, gas is on. <clears throat> I've already oiled the uh, rim of the canner. That's not in the light, that is. switched over to using a gas burner for my canner because the wood stove I can't keep it I struggle keeping it at a consistent heat and temperature without it dropping out so I invested in a gas burner which runs off I've got a big gas bottle at the back there so right so now that's done put that away um once it started venting from here venting steam we let it vent for 10 minutes then after the 10 minutes we pop the weight on once the weight goes on and it is up to 10 pound in pressure and the weight starts jiggling going jiggle 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 you don't want a constant jiggle 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 um then i can turn the burner down and set the timer then for 75 minutes so we will come back when it's um all done 